taking soldiers' lives. As 24 Hour News 8's tech editor Steve Bray explains, this underdog team is trying to drive to a championship on a shoestring budget with no one behind the wheel. So you pull up to an intersection, stop, wait your turn, and then proceed. Easy enough, right? Well, for this SUV, it's not that easy. See, there's nobody driving. This car has to handle it even if another car goes out of turn. These cameras will see it in the way and it will stop and, and still give him the right of way. So we are defensive drivers or driverless drivers, so to speak. Mechanical engineers Rick Bletsis and Mahesh Shangalva lead the team of weekend warriors from Kokomo behind this robotic SUV. Well, Apple computer did, HP did, and who knows what this will end up in, but a garage is a good place to start. Yes, they built it in Bletsis's garage. So now we are down to 36 teams from across the whole world, and we are going head to head with uh, technology titans like MIT, Stanford, Caltech, Cornell, and we're holding on. The DARPA Urban Challenge, sponsored by the U.S. Defense Department, began with 200 teams with proposals on how to make a vehicle drive through a course of white lines, turnarounds, and much more. Not through remote control. There is no communication between uh, the team and the vehicle. Officials from DARPA whittled the field down to 56, then visited each team for a demonstration. This video is from that visit. The Kokomo team is now in the semifinals, and while some of the other 35 teams have budgets in the millions, this group has spent a mere 20000 This is such a grassroots effort that they borrowed webcams from their kids' computers and even swiped their toy cars. Another roadway. And if I turn it the other side, you know what it's made of. It's a Dora talking kitchen set. So it's very low cost, as you can see. The small roads and cars scaled down the task at hand. They eventually grew to this wagon pulling version. Once their software was perfected, they applied it to the SUV. This is a very complex problem. And uh, the way to do it, especially uh, with the budget we have, we are forced to find more innovative ways to solve the problem. So while their competitors have racks of computers and lasers, the team from Kokomo uses a single desktop PC and include $50 webcams. These are the eyes of the car. Uh, what happens is they bring information to the computer of what is seen. The computer then sends commands to levers that push the gas, apply the brake, shift gears, and even turn the wheel. The camera will see the road ahead. If there are lane markings, it will use those to find the center line through the software. It They'll compete in California in late October for a grand prize of $2 million. Chances of winning? Yeah. Uh, I would say, realistically speaking, low. But they have hope, and Bletsis says the desire to not get his car back. If we do well, this is going to the Smithsonian. Steve Bray, 24-hour News 8. Oh, good for them. Well, Congress has mandated that one-third of military combat vehicles be unmanned by the year 2015. Now, this challenge has been set up to get there. While the team has some sponsors, including Delphi in Kokomo, where they work, they are still in the hunt for more. If you're interested in learning more about the team and this challenge, we've put some extra content at wishtv.com. Got to give those guys yeah. credit. Pretty intense. And with no one at the wheel, it yeah. moves better than some of what we'll see at rush hour tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, but we're hoping for dry roads. And nice. really, yes, only a slim chance that there will be a little rain around left tomorrow morning. As things are starting to wind down, no weather watches.